Welcome back to our series on link. We're going to address the default if empty extension. This extension is actually quite useful if you have a list or enumerable of something. And if that list or enumerable is empty, you want a default value of the type that's in the list. In this case, you know, we have a list of customers, right? And so I've generated a default customer as well that can be used if the list is empty. Now, in the case of this particular line here, that list isn't going to be empty. There's going to be 10 customers in there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to write all of those customers out to the console. But I've also surfaced this empty list option, which is truly an empty list of, of customers. And so in this case, it's actually going to render out the default customer that is part of the, the data object here. Now, I've also offered this option. So when you don't pass a value in, what you end up getting is the default value for that type. In this case, this is a reference type. So what we're facing here is a null. That'll be what is produced. And so if we just run this and take a look at what we get, we get a list of 10 customers here, right? And all these are just generated data with auto fixture. We then get a list of one customer because we have an empty list, but we did provide a default customer. But then we get an empty string effectively because we have a null value. So we wrote a null value or an empty string out to the console because that particular list was empty and we didn't actually provide a default value for the type. And so this is the purpose of default if empty. I think that it's actually a pretty useful um, extension and I think you'll find that there are times when let's say you're listing data to um, a, you know a, a web page and if there's not anything in the list, you want to produce a single item that maybe has a different text. Maybe that text is, you know, there's no items in the list right now, but your view can handle that easier at times than, you know, an empty list. That's not always true. It's just something that you can use uh, if you need to, uh, and it is there for you.